Hello, I hope you are doing fantastic. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can interface two LEDs to Arduino and how you can blink them alternatively. Means while one is on, another will stay off. While other is on, the first will stay off. So like alternatively. Let's begin. So uh, dear, I have already logged into the Tinkercad. And we are all set to uh, make the circuit. In order to make circuit, we need components. So let's drag the component from this uh, component list. So first we need Arduino. Let me find where it is. Yeah, it must be in microcontroller section. Yes, of course it is. So let's drag this Arduino. Arduino is here in the screen. Next is to drag output devices LEDs. As we are about to control two LEDs alternatively. So LEDs, first LED is here, and let me bring the second one, second is also here. You can keep uh, LEDs color as uh, similar or both red, or you can make the change. So I'm changing the color to yellow this time, or let it be green, green, that's fantastic. And it's time to uh, interface, it's time to connect this in order to make circuit. But before I must write comment, uh, on the circuit, so it will be easy for you to understand what we are making circuit for. So let me write uh, blinking two LEDs alternatively. So blinking or blink two LEDs alternatively. Fine. Let's connect the LEDs to Arduino. You can see here the this pin of this uh, LED is cathode. Cathode means minus. So minus has to be connected with ground anyway. Yeah, of course it is ground. And color must be black. You can make it a different color, but by reference, if it is black, means you it is connected to ground. And uh, let's connect the cathode of another LED to ground as well. So here it is. Connection is done. And uh, yeah. Connection is done. Let's change the color to black. And now their anodes are left. So anode of one LED you can connect to any one of this pin 0 to 13. They are the control pins or digital input output pins. I'm going to connect with pin number 11. And the anode of second LED I'll connect to pin number uh, pin number 11. So the second LED is connected to pin number 11. And the first LED or red LED is connected to pin number 12. We, can, we have to remember this pin number so that while writing program, we can give this value. So our circuit is done. And uh, now it's time to write code for. So in order to write code, just click on, on this uh, button available, code button, and it will, be, uh, it will give you the environment to write code. So this window has appeared where you can make code. And uh, later, after once the code will be done, we will test it that how does it work okay that's good and now as you can see uh, the codes pre-built code is here we have to delete this fine now let's just try writing code so dho1 being a good programmer we must write comment that what we are writing code for it increases the readability for the programmer so i'm going to write code for blinking to LEDs alternatively. Let me just zoom in a bit so that it will be more clear to you in the video. Yeah, got it. And now let's start writing uh, the main code. Let's start controlling the LED. In the previous lesson you would have seen in order to turn on the LED We'll go to output section as LED is an output device and we will select the block that is set pin block. So let's drag the set pin block here on the screen and choose the pin number to which LED is connected. So I will select pin number 12 this time because red LED is connected to pin number 12 and we have to make it high and drag again the set pin block and choose the pin number for the green LED. Green LED is connected to pin number 11. So I have selected pin number 11. And 
LED, green LED has to be off. So set it to low. This means while red is on, green will be off. And let's give a delay of one second. Let's give a delay for one second. Okay. And after one second, it will do opposite. What opposite? It will turn off red LED and it will turn on green LED. So in order to turn off red LED, select the pin number to which red is connected. Red is connected to pin number 12. And let's turn it off by uh, making it low. And then again, drag the set pin block and drop here. And select the pin to which the green is connected. Green is connected to pin number 11. And this time, let it be high so that uh, red is off and green will stay on. Give a delay for a second. Give a delay for one second so that we can see the effect and your code is done. Yes, you know, there is a secret hidden in it. In Arduino or in this program, in Arduino space, the execution of code happens step by step. First, the top instruction will get executed, then next, and then next, and then next. But as you can see, these two blocks, they will, ex they will execute so fast that we won't be able to see. So there is a delay in between. Okay, the delay will hold the program for one second. So it will turn on uh, red LED and it will turn off green LED. And this will happen for one second. It will stay, uh, it will keep red LED on and green LED off for one second. And after one second, it will do opposite. It will turn off red LED and it will turn on green LED. Let's test the code. Is it okay or not? So in order to test the LED, we have to start simulation. Let me zoom a bit. Let me zoom it a bit. Yeah, so so that you can see its effect well. And now uh, it's the time to uh, see the effect is how it is happening. So let me start the simulation. Yeah, that's boom. And I think it should happen. Yes, red is on, then green is on. While one is on, another is staying off. You see how fantastic and how easy it is. The code is also very simple and it, as well as making circuit is also similar. So you can you can tinker with uh, you know code and uh, like you can change the timing. You can change you can change this time wait time. You can make the red LED on for longer or green LED for longer or you can uh, flash a little faster. You can make them blink a little faster. That choice is up to you. That what how you want to tinker with these LEDs. So, basically, that was uh, for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be uh, coming with a little advanced project and advanced code. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.